1 plus 3, 1 plus 3, T. T as in those mother The 1 plus 3 has been one of my favorite phones for 2016. And then out of nowhere, the OnePlus 3T shows up. I'm wondering how many of you that bought the OnePlus 3 are genuinely upset, genuinely pissed that not even six months later, an upgraded version comes out. If you knew it was coming, would you have waited? I'm guessing that's why OnePlus never said anything about it. Those sneaky mother The OnePlus 3T comes with stickers and random paperwork I'll never read, a SIM ejector tool, a $5 promo code, a wall charger, and a USB to USB-C cable. The OnePlus 3T is the souped up, beefed up version of the OnePlus 3. The OnePlus 3 released in June 2016, the OnePlus 3T November 2016. The 3 priced at $399 and came with 64 gigs of internal storage. The 3T priced at $439, $40 more than its predecessor, also with 64 gigs of internal storage. But OnePlus also made a 128 gig version of the 3T for $479. No tax, under $500, unlocked, shipped to your door in the US. If you live elsewhere, I don't know how much that it costs you. I don't live there. Moving on. The OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T share the same exact physical dimensions and the same high quality build. I ordered my OnePlus 3 in graphite, my OnePlus 3T in gunmetal. Graphite looks more silver, gunmetal looks more bronzish. Best way I can put it. Both share 5.5 inch 1080p displays, both have 16 megapixel rear cameras, and both have 6 gigs of RAM. The OnePlus 3 runs on a Snapdragon 820 processor, the 3T on the Snapdragon 821, the latest and greatest in Qualcomm's lineup. The OnePlus 3 houses a 3000 milliamp hour battery, the OnePlus 3T a 3400 milliamp hour battery. Which is impressive in its own right because again, the OnePlus 3T shares the same exact physical dimensions as the OnePlus 3, yet they squeezed another 400 milliamp hours in there. The OnePlus 3 sports an 8 megapixel front camera, the OnePlus 3T a 16 megapixel one. I'll cover this in a future video. The first thing that pulled up when I turned on my 3T was the Oxygen OS update to 3.5.3. This update covers things like added motion detection in camera and enhanced image capturing quality and updated touch panel firmware and optimized touch precision. I will admit, when I first got this update, my initial reaction was, what about the OnePlus 3? My OnePlus 3 was still stuck on 3.2.7, even though there was an update for 3.2.8. So I had put together this little rant until I read a little further down this post that read, We've stated from the very beginning that the OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T will be on the same update schedule beginning with the release of Nougat. Very well, never mind. Let's test out the 3 and the 3T with benchmarks. Yeah, I know benchmarks don't make or break a phone, but with such similar specs, I wanted to see how the OnePlus 3 with the Snapdragon 820 fared against the OnePlus 3T with the 821. First up is an app I downloaded called SuperPi. It's an app that calculates pi to a certain decimal number. That is how quickly it reaches to a certain decimal number. Pi to the millionth decimal, and then pi to the four millionth decimal. <laughs> and now for 3D Mark. And then Geekbench 4.
It shouldn't be a surprise that the OnePlus 3T beats the OnePlus 3 in almost every category when benchmarking. I just wanted to see for myself. In real world testing, I'm not noticing a huge difference. Not at all. Faster boot times, yes. And I'm sure a fully loaded phone with apps running will benefit from a faster processor. But when I compare the 3 to the 3T, when I'm navigating through apps, going from one to the other, it's still a pretty smooth and overall lag-free experience on both phones. But even with that said, and such a small negligible difference, would I still take the 821 over the 820? Of course, who wouldn't? For $40 more, a OnePlus 3T gets you a faster processor, a bigger battery, and an upgraded front camera. Let me put it this way. I have a friend who bought the OnePlus 3 about a month and a half ago, I think, because it's something I recommended. If I knew the OnePlus 3T was being announced shortly after, I would have definitely told him to hold off for the 3T, but I didn't see it coming. Uh-huh. Yeah. Breaking news. If you're looking for the OnePlus 3T, you might want to hold off. The OnePlus 4 is coming out tomorrow. That was a joke. Sneaky mother.